Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Transit Railway Tutorials. In this episode, we will take a look at five common questions you might have about this mod. Number one, how do I spawn a train? The Minecraft Transit Railway mod is different from other train mods in that there are no spawn items for trains. Instead, there are four common components to this mod, rails, stations, routes, and depots. To build rails, place down two rail nodes and then use a rail connector to right-click the first node and then the second node. Next, we will need to create at least one siding and a depot. A siding is where trains can spawn, and a depot contains instructions for where the train should go. Place down two rail nodes, just like before, and use the siding rail connector to build the rail. Let's get the railway dashboard and create a depot. Click on the Depots tab, add a depot, and draw over the siding that we just created. The siding should appear as a square on the map. Next, we will need to create stations, platforms, and routes. Essentially, place down platforms using platform rail connectors, create stations on the dashboard, and create routes by clicking on the platforms. Check out the first episode of the Minecraft Transit Railway Tutorials for detailed instructions. Number 2. Why do I only have a minecart? Or, how do I make my trains longer? Or, how do I change the train type? If the siding is too short, only a minecart can fit. The length of the siding directly corresponds to how many cars can be spawned. To easily check how long a train can be for a specific siding, open up the dashboard and click on the siding. Click on the button to change the train type. When hovering over all the available trains, the numbers in the corner indicate the length of each car and how many cars can fit in our siding. Number 3. Why are my routes not generating? First, make sure that we have properly generated the route in our depot. There must be at least one route in the vehicle instructions of our depot, and there must be at least two platforms per route. Make sure that the path has been refreshed every time a change is made. If we are still getting errors, read the message carefully. For example, there is no path found on line 1 southbound between Village Station and the Cherry Blossom Station. Let's walk along the tracks carefully and find out if there is a valid path for trains to run on. Be very careful about one-way rails and keep in mind that trains can only use them in the direction of the arrows. Looks like we have put this track backwards, so trains are not able to find a proper path. After fixing the rail and refreshing the route instructions for the depot, we have successfully created a path for the train. Number 4. Why are the doors not opening? All vehicles require platform blocks next to the platform rail in order to open the doors. This also tells the vehicle whether it should open the doors on the left, right, or both sides. There are many types of platform blocks to choose from, and they can even be hidden one block below the Y level of the platform rail. Number 5. How do I open the online system map? The online system map is very useful for visualizing our routes in the world. To open it, type in the server IP, a colon, and the port for the web server. The port is 8888 by default, but can be changed by the MTR web server port text file in the config folder. Add slash index.html to the end and press enter. If playing on single player, the server IP can be replaced by local host. For example, localhost colon 8888 slash index.html. Note that many server hosts, such as Eternos, do not allow port forwarding, so the online system map will not work. In this case, 
Use localhost as the IP, but note that the map will have limited features. One of the most powerful features of the map is to find the best route between two stations. It takes into account the actual departure times of the trains. Click on the settings icon and then the directions icon. Enter the start and end stations. If it takes a long time to wait for a train, the map might suggest the player to walk instead. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Minecraft Transit Railway Tutorials. I hope that I was able to answer some of your questions. Check out my Let's Play server and YouTube series to get a better idea of what this mod is capable of. Details for joining is in the Discord. Link is in the description. Please also consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to add more awesome features to the mod. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and interest in the mod, and I'll see you in the next video.